Hi, gun people. This is a pretty good little video. Uh, cops are using Instagram to track a, down, a dude down who uh, has a warrant. So this is, uh, according to the description, this is a crime suppression unit. Um, and they're probably looking for this guy, and he's on their list. Uh, he's wanted for auto theft, probably other things, prior felony. I think he's out on bail. And evidently, he goes live on Instagram. So the cops figured out his Instagram account. Did some good police work. Said, you know what? I'm going to follow this guy so I'll get notified when he goes live. Guy goes live on Instagram. Cops gets notified. Says, hey, I know where he's at. He's at his house live. Let's go get him. So I don't have a problem with this. It's pretty pretty good police work in my book. I am. Dave, get to the house. He just shut his live off and said the cops are here. Oh. So it looks like he had somebody on the lookout watching, and when the cops showed up, that that strengthens their probable cause that he's in there. Remember, if a guy's got a warrant, you got to believe he's in the house. Uh, now, I don't know if the warrant's a misdemeanor or felony. These guys talk about make him come out or we'll have to go get a warrant. If he's a felon, a fleeing felon, and he's got a warrant, and I know he's in that house, I don't need a warrant. I have a warrant. I have a felony arrest warrant, which means I can enter and arrest him. So I don't know why they're talking about getting a warrant to go get him, uh, but let's see here. Take cover. Oh, I'm on scene. I'm trying to check the back. X-ray 22 Central. Can we get the channel and send as many units as you got to Thompson and Beersford? Okay, when he says, can we have the channel, that means give me the beeper or shut everybody else down. We don't want some dump shit out there making a traffic stop for failure to roll through a stop sign with a license plate light out. Meanwhile, we're out here getting shot at trying to get a real felon who's got a gun. He showed a gun in Instagram, so we know he's armed. We know he's a fleeing felon. Probably know there's multiple people in the house. So he says, give me, give us the channel and send all the units you can. Meaning, what he wants to do is, if he's going to try and go get a warrant, in your probable cause statement, you've got to be able to articulate why you think that guy's in there and what's your reason to believe he's in here. If I say, he was live on Instagram and I left the PD and it took us 20 minutes to drive there and then it took us another 30 minutes to set up and uh, I think he's in there, the DA and the judge is probably going to go, hmm, you don't know if he didn't leave, man. I don't know if that's good PC. Now, you would probably get it from most because they don't hold people accountable. But realistically, you can't say you, you have a reasonable belief that he's in there because it was over an, 30 minutes to an hour by the time you had the information. That's called what's called stale information in a warrant. And you can't use stale information unless you can corroborate that stale information or refresh that stale information to make it more current. So what this guy did is as soon as he shut off his Instagram, he was at the house, he pulled up, he secured the back to make sure the guy didn't run out, and now he's getting other units, so he's watching the front and the back. Now his information is more reliable, and his warrant's going to be stronger. It's a black male. He had on a white shirt and a black undershirt, and he did have a firearm in his hand. Hey, you can tell him to either come on out, or we're going to write a search warrant. We'll go in and get him. Okay, now when he says, tell him to come on out, we got a search warrant, there is a thing, yeah, I don't know if this is in California, but in California there's a thing called a stagel warrant. And a stagel warrant means that I can't arrest you in a third party's house because what cops used to do is say, we know Tyrone here has a warrant, so we're going to wait till he goes to Billy Bob's house because we think Billy Bob's selling dope, but we can't have enough to get a warrant to go in Billy Bob's house, so we're going to follow Tyrone and as soon as he goes to Billy Bob's house, because he's got a warrant, we'll go kick the door, and therefore we get to search when we arrest him, and if we find dope, now we get both these knuckleheads. So the courts went, you know what? You can't do that. You guys are abusing the, the warrant requirement, and you're trying to circumvent it by following people with warrants. So now they've made a law that if a person has a warrant, you can only enter his house if it's his house. If it's a third party's house, 
you must secure the house and go get what's called a stagel warrant, and that, that basically is a warrant to attach the body. I can go in to seize the body. So I'll go get a warrant. If I was going to write this warrant as a stagel warrant, it would be John Doe did an Instagram. I know John Doe from prior arrests. I also recognize John Doe from a warrant. John Doe has a warrant. We've been trying to locate him. He has a warrant for uh, felony car theft. He's also been convicted of a felon. In the thing, he, he appeared to have a gun. And in his Instagram account that I witnessed him just waving a gun, and he's in this residence. Uh, I got to the house immediately. I secured it. There was no way for him to leave. We surrounded the place, and we asked him to come out, and he wouldn't come out. I need a stagel warrant. I need permission to go into this house search for the body of Don Doe and seize him because he has a felony warrant. That would be my stagel warrant. I would write that up, give it to a judge. A judge would sign that, no problem. Now remember, if I go in and, and, and my warrants to search for a body, I can't be looking in drawers or cabinets where a body could be hidden. I can't be looking in a glove box of a car because a body couldn't be in there. So a stagel warrant only allows me to search the house where a body can be hidden, which means I can go in the attic, the basement, any corner, any closet, anywhere under bed, anywhere a person can be hidden, that gives me authority to search. Yeah, he was on a live video, and as soon as he saw the blue lights, he shut the live video off, and they said, man, hurry up, cuz they're here. That was his PC man, statement. here's the deal, okay? I know he's inside, you so I know 100% sure he's I bet inside. $100. Okay, well, guess me, what? If I win, you're gonna give me my money? Yeah, I'll give you your money. If I win, you're going to give me my money and you're going to go to jail after you give me my money for harboring a felon. How about that? Yeah, let, let, go ahead. Tell me again how he ain't in there. Rick, you can't say that. Whatever. And they talked it over and said, shit, if he comes in here, he might find our dope or he might find the other guy that's got a felony warrant or he might find, you know what? Man, you got to go out so they don't come in and tear up the house. I don't want to go to jail, and I don't want to have to pay this guy $100. So he comes out. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. Now, see, I don't have, I, I'm telling you, man, I've arrested a lot of people, I'm, lots. And if a guy comes out with his hands up like this, and he walks out, and I see that he's got a T-shirt on, I'm going to tell him to put his hand, turn around, face away from him like this, put your hands behind your back, and I'm going to cuff him. I've got multiple officers with guns covering me. There's no reason to throw him on the ground. He's not a no person because he walked out with his hands up. No people belong on the ground. This guy walks out with his hands up, and cops just nowadays just can't form a freaking thought with two brain cells and figure out how to de-escalate or lower things. They have to use force whenever they get the chance because it makes their manhood bitter. I just don't get it. So they start throwing this guy on the ground. I think it's unnecessary. It's not needed. Of course, they're not held accountable. So why should they stop? Ground now. Get on the ground. Yeah, yeah. I got him. Go let him. Go let him. Go let him. You want to secure this house? Because we got a gun in here. Okay, so now, here's where the other end of the deal is. We know he had a gun. Now, do we get a warrant to go search for the gun? This is kind of iffy. I think they'll get the warrant because, remember, to get a warrant, I need to show that I believe there was a crime committed and that there's evidence of that crime. Do you, I think there's a gun in that house? Yeah. But could that gun belong to a lawful legal owner? It could. But this guy was in possession of it. I have video evidence of him in possession of it. I need that gun. It doesn't matter whether it belongs lawfully to someone else. This felon possessed it. Therefore, it's evidence of the crime, and I need to seize it. So I think they would get the warrant if they do that. Now, what he's talking about, do you want to secure the house and get the warrant? That means after they get this guy, see, the people inside think, okay, we'll give them this guy, and they won't get in the house. After we get this guy cuffed up, now we say, okay, we think there's a gun in there, and he was using a gun. So if you want to bring out the gun or walk one of our officers in and point the gun out, we'll just take the gun and we'll leave. If you don't give us the gun, everybody's coming out of the house. Nobody's having access to the house. Everybody's getting searched coming out of the house. We're going to secure the house and go get a warrant to search it. And we're going to go in and search for the gun. That's not threatening. That's following the law. They have to secure the house so they can't destroy evidence. 
use the gun against them, hide the bullets, whatever they want to do. We get them out of the house, we secure it, and then we go get a warrant. It's perfectly legal. I think they have probable cause to go get a warrant to search for the gun. I don't know how it went. It ended here. But good little learning video for cops or somebody that's interested on how warrants work. And uh, we'll go ahead and end that there. They got their guy from posting live on Instagram. I love it. Technology is a wonderful thing. All right, we'll end that there.